Hello, everybody. I'd like to do a little experiment with the audience and the judges. I want you to imagine that you are disabled and you live in a wheelchair. You're coming up to your birthday and you want to spend it with your friends and family. No, I'd rather not. <laughs> oh, right. You want to spend the time with your friends and family. So you want to organize an evening out, which is like a military operation for somebody in a wheelchair. You do your research, you find a local restaurant, and you phone up to see if they can take a wheelchair. The restaurant assures you that it's totally accessible and that you don't have a problem. You'll be able to get in. So you book the table, tell your friends and family the time and the date. You dress up in your finest outfit, and you go to the restaurant. But when you get there, you find a staircase and no way of getting up. So <coughs> the management say, it's no problem. We'll carry you up. So two waiters turn up. They carry you up the stairs. They get to the top of the stairs, and one of the waiters trips and stumbles. <laughs> and you all end up on the floor. And that is one of the problems that people face when you're disabled. When you're disabled. And that has happened to me, believe me. And it's very embarrassing, but I've got enough balls to cope with it. Unfortunately, a lot of other disabled people haven't got that courage or haven't got that confidence. Now, why is this important? Well, the market for disabled people has been labelled by The Economist, The New Green, and there are approximately a billion people worldwide who have some form of disability. When you translate this to Europe, there are 80 million people with a disability and a potential spend of 142 billion on tourism, 80 billion on hospitality, and 30 billion on equipment and services. So it's a vast ma market that is largely untapped. Now, Blue Badge Style takes a common sense approach to this commercial opportunity unlike the providers of these ramps. <laughs> Giggle. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I have been faced with ramps like that uh, all over Europe. Blue Badge Style is a community of people, and we're aiming to get a community, a, so a unique social ne network of 8 million who have the idea that disability and style are not mutually exclusive. You can have both. And we expect that market to be worth 20 billion a year. Now, perceptions of, in, of disability in society are definitely changing. As you can see from this photo of Amy Purdy, a disabled uh, snowboarder, a Paralympian. Now, unfortunately, not everybody in a wheelchair or walking with sticks are Paralympians. I certainly can't do what she does or look like that. <laughs> um, the other thing is uh, the, the perception... OK, society's changed, but the perception within someone who's disabled is very much this is a frightening place, it's too embarrassing to go out, so I'm not going to go out, I'm not going to spend my money. So the market be remains dormant. Now, Blue Badge Style addresses this in a number of ways. The first way is through our website, which tells people with accurate information where to go, what to do, what to buy, so that we ensure that people who are disabled can go out, enjoy life, and have a positive experience. The other way we, do, we provide information is through pictorial access descriptions, which we sell to venues. Um, this is how we finance Blue Badge Style. This is one at South Place Hotel that we did. And it basically, it's a high-quality photographic journey through a venue showing potential obstacles and or facilities that exist so that you can get an idea of what you're to expect before you go there. And it's not just for people with disabilities. It's for people who are slightly frail because they're getting a little bit older. 
is also for someone who may just have a temporary disability like a broken leg. And these, we've started selling them to hospitality venues, but we believe that, that pads are applicable to any public building throughout Europe. And we'd like to see our blue badge tick and our pads on every space in Europe and because it's an online access brochure and it treats the disabled person as a customer rather than an inconvenient health and safety issue. We also have an app that tells people, based on their location, what are the good places to visit nearby. So, you know, you're in a cab, you want to go to a good bar. You look it up on our app, and we have a unique rating system, which is like a Michelin star, but it's blue badge ticks. And we measure accessibility, disabled facilities, and, of course, style. So that at a glance, you can see whether you want to visit that location. It's on, it's on iPhone and on uh, Android under Blue Badge Star, so please download it and you'll get the idea straight away. It's meant to be intuitive. Our small dedicated team have achieved a num uh, number of things over the last year or so. We've got various press and publicity, both on BBC TV and on radio, in the Financial Times, The Guardian, and many uh, catering um, periodicals. Our partners include a number of Paralympians, as well as Conran and Partners, who are a global design group, and they totally support what we're doing. Our customers include D&D &D London and Hoxton Hotels, which number about 40 um, venues across the UK. And we also have the Compass Group, which is the global facilities management group, who are very interested or are actively promoting our pads to their clients. They see it as an added benefit. So going forward, what are our challenges? Well, one is we want to scale up so that we hit the whole of Europe. We want to grow our community to be 8 million across Europe. We need to spread the awareness of Blue Badge Style. We also, um, should we get any, any investment or maybe win a prize, uh, we'd like to spend that money on making the whole experience for our users much more interactive and update the app and with new technologies such as beacons or... Um, 3D mapping. And how the business community interacts with Blue Badge Style is we sell them data and market research on our community. We are developing a Blue Badge Style uh, range of disability aids. We can sell advertising on the site, on the app. We want to sell a premium app, and we've got the pads. And our very modest business plan has shown that by year five, we should be turning over three million with a profit of 1.2. So to conclude, what is the social impact of Blue Badge Style? We're trying to create social inclusion through economic versus legislative means, which are much more positive. 